But y'all, you know that I have been digging through my mom's old recipe cards and um, I had totally forgotten about this. And it just, when I saw the recipe, I was like, I totally have to make it because I haven't had it in a long time and it's delicious and it's so easy to make so easy to make it you just throw everything together and pop it in the oven for a little bit and then take it out and it's delicious so what you're going to need is five ounces of chow mein noodles uh y'all know what those are right the the dry noodles we make cookies out of them we make all kinds of things out of them they're delicious and they more or less evaporate from the pantry shelf if you're not careful um cream and mushroom soup of course whole milk seven and well seven the recipe itself the original recipe calls for seven ounces of tuna fish this is 12 ounces of albacore tuna and um i prefer albacore tuna because of the i i like the flavor better i like that it stays in big chunks and it's not mushy and um and i put a little extra in here so you can use a seven ounce can if they even make seven ounce cans anymore because we all know that there's downsizing going on but uh, a seven ounce can of tuna is fine just make sure that you drain it really well this is a 12 ounce can of solid white albacore tuna in water and i've drained it really well whatever you want to do anywhere between seven and 12 ounces is fine cashews half a cup half a cup of bell pepper and y'all know I use the frozen bell pepper because it's so much easier um, I can have a mixture of colors they're in my freezer all the time and it's just unless you're making a salad or a charcuterie or something with raw bell pepper this is the best way to have it because it's always on hand um, half a cup to a cup of chopped celery it depends on how much you like it and how much you want to put in there half a cup to a cup of chopped onion also depends on how much you like the onion in and how much you want to put in there okay that is all you need for this first thing we're going to do is put a little bit of oil in the pan and heat that up mom's recipe does not call for the vegetables to be sauteed before they go in the oven but i like them to have that softer texture and for sauteing just brings out so much flavor so we're going to go ahead and saute it if you don't feel like it and you want to just put it in the oven then make sure that you're cutting the onion and celery small so that it has time to to get soft as it bakes okay so we're just going to heat that olive oil up for a little bit you can use butter if you want if you are trying to be careful about fats you can use a uh, cooking spray whatever you whatever you usually saute with and we always want to let it get nice and hot watching it carefully because over heat oil will eventually uh flame but you want it to be good and hot before you put your vegetables in there and um, I don't know if you can see but it's starting to shimmer a little bit we should get when we pour the vegetables in there to saute we should get a nice crackle so let's see if we're there yet there we go all right the vegetables have started to soften up the onions are kind of almost translucent they're getting there and um, so I'm going to add the bell pepper and remember this is frozen so everything's going to cease to cook for a minute and we're just going to stir that around and saute until the celery is soft and everything is heated through okay I'm going to take out a few of the chow mein noodles and reserve those for the top just for a little added crunch on the top and I guess that's probably about half a cup and I'm gonna set those aside now we're gonna put the cream of mushroom soup you could use cream of celery in this you could use uh, cream of asparagus you could use cream of onion any kind of cream soup works 
cream of mushroom is traditional, but that doesn't mean that that's the only one you have you can use. And then I'm also going to add the milk. And I'm going to whisk that together in my mixing bowl before I add anything else. That way I know that the sauce is all ready for everything. Now you can put everything else in willy-nilly absolutely any way you want. Any, it, There's no particular way. So I'm going to start with the onions and peppers and celery. Get that in there. I guess I don't really need this whisk anymore. And um, the cashews. The tuna. And the remaining chow mein noodles. We're just going to mix that up. See how that albacore stays in larger chunks? Um, you can break it up and make it smaller, but it's not, it's not soggy little shreds, which is what I don't like about regular tuna. And if you do, that's fine. It's just a personal preference. I have some texture issues um, that went along with my sensory processing disorder, so I have to be careful. Anyway, so we just mix that all up. You should have a one and a half quart casserole. This is actually, I think a little bigger than that. It's an eight by inch pan. It's a two quart casserole. Um, and so one and a half quart is better. I have no idea where my one and a half quart casserole is, so we're using a two quart. It just means that it won't be as thick up, right? You're gonna spray that with nonstick cooking spray. And then we're just gonna put that right in there. My oven just said that it is completely preheated. So good. Okay, okay. It's wants me to know. We're gonna put flatten this out. Now see, if this was a one and a half quart casserole, it would fill all the way up. And then we're just gonna sprinkle our chow mein noodles on top. Spread those out a little bit. And that, my friends, is that it is ready to go in the oven just that quick. It's going to bake for 35 to 40 minutes. This one, because I'm using a larger casserole and it's not as thick, uh, probably I'll check it at 25 to 30 just to double check. But if you're using a one and a half quart casserole and it's higher and thicker, you wanna cook it until that middle is about 185 to 200 degrees on an instant read thermometer. You want it to be nice and hot. Everything's all cooked. So it, basically you're just warming it up. And I will see y'all back here in about 30 minutes. All right, y'all, we're all done. Uh, it did take 30 minutes and not longer because of the size of the pan, but I'd still suggest that if you have a one and a, uh, one and a half quart baking dish that you let it go for 35. You might want to check it at 30, but that's up to you. Again, everything's all cooked. It just needs to warm all the way through. You can make this ahead or you can assemble it ahead um, to bake later. That's fine. But what you want to do is you want to make sure not to put the topping of chow mein noodles on until right before you put it in the oven. For that reason, it does freeze but the, the topping of chow mein noodles is gonna get a little soggy. So if you're gonna freeze leftovers or if you're gonna freeze the casserole, if you're gonna freeze the casserole for later, I'd leave the topping of chow mein noodles totally off and put it in a little Ziploc bag in the pantry or whatever so that you have it for later. Uh, and then freeze the casserole without the topping on it. If you're going to freeze it as leftovers, go ahead and mix everything in and um, then it'll be fine. It won't be so obvious that the topping got soggy in the freezer, okay? All right, let's give this a try. 
Now, I would guess that this is probably four pretty hearty servings. Uh, six, depending on, you know, how big of eaters your family is. We're going to take this right out, just like that. Make sure to get all the pieces that fell in there. It's creamy, and it's just so good. Let's take a bite. If you love tuna noodle casserole, you may want to try this variation. And if you don't like it, you might want to try this variation anyway because it is a little bit different flavor-wise um, and texture-wise. It tastes like a bite of the 1950s or 60s to me, um, straight from my mom's kitchen. I know you're going to love it. It's an easy recipe, perfect for those busy weeknights. And um, give it a try. I know you're going to love it. I know your family's going to love it. And plus, tuna is actually not a super expensive protein, so it does help stretch the budget, right? All right, y'all. I hope you try it. I hope you like it. Remember, you can go over to the blog. Uh, the link is down below, and you get the printable recipe and more tips and um, nutrition information and all the things. Okay, so be sure to do that. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and maybe a nice comment. And I will see y'all next week, okay? Love y'all. Bye-bye.